Hi, I'm Rick Foster. Welcome to Rick Uncork 365. Today, we're going to be tasting a very unique red blend from a famous vineyard in Santa Barbara County. Now, Hitching Post Wineries was started by two longtime friends, Gray and Frank, back in 1979. And then they produced wines throughout the 80s, mostly for Frank's restaurant, Hitching Post 2 restaurant. Now, Gray was originally a salmon fisherman, but they both had a love for winemaking. So when they came to Santa Barbara County, they discovered Santa Barbara was producing exceptional Pinot Noirs. So the Hitching Post winery in their estate became actually known for their Pinot Noirs. And then the movie Sideways in 2004 was featuring this vineyard or winery, which made it even more famous. Now, prior to the movie, they were producing just enough wines for tourists and for the restaurant trade. But after 2004 and the movie came out, they now produce 17,000 cases of wine each year. Now today, we're gonna to talk about the cork versus twist off. As you can see, this bottle is a twist off. Now it's a metal twist off cap, and you would expect most wines, or red wines especially, to have a uh, natural cork. Now there's been some controversy ever since the twist off has been introduced into the wine bottling you know, market or industry. If you're going to keep a red wine or cellar a wine for a long period of time, you want a natural cork in it. When you settle that or cellar that and you let that, you know, ferment in the bottle for several years, you'll want that natural cork so that gases can escape through the pores of the cork as well as allowing oxygen in those same pores through that cork which creates an oxidization, which actually lends itself to the aging of that wine. You don't want to do that with a metal twist-off cork. So the metal twist-off caps are made for wines that aren't meant to be aged or cellared for a long period of time. So let's give this red wine a taste. It is called Gen Red. It is a, a blend of the um, various red varietals that is produced at the Hitchy Post Estate. It has a finish of a Merlot, but let's give it a taste and see how the other blends mute with this. Well, that is a typical table red wine, red table wine. It has a very um, strong beginning, and then that Merlot really tapers down. So it has some stronger red varietals. There's no Pinot in this, but there's some stronger red varietals that have grown at the Hitching Post um, vineyards, and but they put enough Merlot in it to really kind of balance that out and bring it down. It's a typical red table wine, a blend, um, this is something that you would serve every day um, to, for just a, a casual, you know, um, red wine drink or to pair with maybe a hamburger, pizza, or a pasta dish. It is similar to a Chianti, but it's a lot um, smoother than a Chianti. It's a lot, has a lot more flavors than a, than a Chianti. It's actually a very pleasant blend and I enjoy it. This bottle is only about $10 a bottle. Um, it is a, you know, um, very popular wine, mostly because of its name. The Hitching Post really became famous after the movie Sideways. So uh, sometimes the prices do go up a little higher as you get out of the state of California. But I paid about $10 for this bottle. And it's definitely a bottle that I would serve with pasta, pizza, or a cheeseburger. Well, cheers. I hope you enjoyed this segment and hope to see you on the next one.